Hi everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop and happy birthday to Leos. I am here to do my Leo birthday spread and this is a fairy spread. I may put a link under the reading for my Etsy shop, but I'm closed right now. I'm not sure when I'm going to reopen, so I may not even put that link there. But I do want to always contribute to my YouTube channel to allow those that are seeking guidance or and enjoy the readings to come and watch them. Um, if you're not a Leo, this can definitely be used for the Leo time frame. As you know, I just will put Leo time on the video description. So happy birthday to all Leos. And we're going to take a look at this um, reading with the fairy spread. I will be using the fairy oracle, which I love this deck, and I will be using it um, to do the reading for everyone. I'm going to do the entire reading with this deck, which I wasn't sure at first, but yeah, I'm going to do it with this, this entire deck. So focusing on everyone's law of attraction. What's coming up for Leos in the year 2019 to 2020 and or the Leo time frame of July 21st to August, I don't know, would it be July 20th, August 21st, something like that. I don't know how those go exactly by the day, but it's a month's time frame in July and August to Leo. So focusing on everyone, law of attraction and the fairy messages for our year ahead for Leos and for others just this time frame which you can expect so it will work in either aspect or both you may even if you are Leo you may experience this right now in Leo time frame as well so fairy ring the energies around you starting this new year or starting this time frame and it is Barnabas the Prince adventures discovery travel meeting destiny so you may be feeling very adventurous. You may be feeling like you want to clear out and move forward. You know, um, clear your physical space of baggage. I feel like the full card, like moving forward without a lot of baggage. I want to get rid of a lot of physical items so I can just pick up on a dime and travel. Go here or go there or do this, do that. So you may have a little itch to travel, to adventure, um, to do things um, that you definitely you know, in the past, you may have had too many responsibilities. So for some people, your responsibilities are lessening and you're able to just kind of pick up. But there's something with your higher self, your soul self that knows adventuring and discovering and traveling right now is going to allow you to meet with destiny. There's something that you're destined to do out there. Or there's someone that you're destined to meet. Um, there's other people's lives you're destined to make an effect on. And there's something within you that is feeling that. So you're feeling antsy a bit. Uh, perhaps a little bit anxious to kind of clear the decks, right, and move forward. So I love seeing that in its way. It can feel a little scary, too. You know, you're feeling like, oh, maybe I don't even know why I'm getting this desire to do this or that. And for some, this can be a long distance. And for some, this could be across town. You know, maybe you're going to go explore, you know, something over on the edge of town and you don't ever go over there. But there's a feeling within you that you want to go somewhere that you haven't gone before. You want to explore and adventure different places different things um that you had in in the past and there's a reason for that it's guiding you towards something new that you're destined to connect with and your higher soul self is feeling it so you're feeling those effects the honeybee is a sweet treat coming your way and it is mother and daughter mothering teaching sharing knowledge nurturing self-worth so a lot of self-worth there's a div divine feminine aspect to this of course but it's also the empress so the empress is all about fertility um and it's feeling for some this could be becoming a mother you know perhaps you're pregnant you're going to have a daughter or, you know even a son doesn't necessarily mean mother and daughter but it's very like i said divine feminine its energies and it's very nurturing for some on the spiritual path this is even connecting more with mother mary i mean this can come in so many ways teaching and sharing your knowledge teaching and sharing what you know about caring for other people so this could, for some, even be, you know, starting school for nursing or doing something that helps care and nurture others. Um, and also nurturing your own self-worth. So for everybody, this can come in different ways. For some, you could be starting school for a nursing or healing career. Um, for others, this can be learning learning new ways to take care of yourself, learning new ways to mother yourself, which is, can really be about inner child work as well. So like I said, everybody, this can be a little bit differently. Um, 
come come to you a little bit differently. And for some, this can be literally, you know, dealing with your own mother, um, you know, as in your role as a child. So there may be something come up where you're really going to be needed. Your mother may really be needing you uh, to care for her or to be with her more. That that bond between mother and child is definitely coming up here. And again, it can be spiritual. It can be um, physical in its aspect and it can manifest as I said as being a caregiver to others as well so uh, this is all coming up for everyone a little bit differently but beautifully fireflies how will you be shining your light this year dragon's pet communication between species animals pets magical companions guard guardianship so you will be shining your light by I feel communicating with Again, it says different species. So you may become an animal communicator, and that's how you're shining your light. But I feel like you're going to be shining your light by being able to communicate with others in a way where there's little miscommunication, which means people are going to be drawn to you to help to get, to help like so they can understand something. So you could be like in a teacher role. I feel like you're going to be somebody others aspire to to help them mediate situations or let's go talk to them because they understand what I've gone through. You may have gone through a situation that they can relate to. So that is how you're going to be shining your light this year. And yes, for some, this is going to be you're going to be communicating with animals or other um, species. It says animals, pets, magical communication, even dragons talking to fays, the fairy, the angels, spirit communication. But else, as an energy, I feel others are going to be drawn to you. Your light is going to be shining because you're going to be someone that others can relate to because of something that you've gone through in your life. Your life experience um, and your practicality and your compassion and your trust, and I'm really feeling that in my heart chakra, is calling to other people because of your understanding. Um, and, you know, they really are trusting you like an animal is drawn to someone that they trust. They run from people that they don't trust, right? So you are a very trusting energy as well, and, and you're really shining your light in that way, and others are drawn to you for those reasons. So I love seeing that. And, and fairy magic manifestation, someone or something good the angels will bring into your life this year in this time frame, and it is Child of the Moon. Wow, love that. So it says forgiveness transcending the ego. So it's a bit of something versus someone. Um, but it could come through someone. You know, the angels, spirit, the universe uses others to help us. So it could have used someone to help you um, transcend your ego, to have taught you a lesson, right? A little bit of a, I feel a little bit of a lesson coming up here and a realization to something where you thought, or you look at it and you go, wow, I really need to forgive myself. I need to forgive them in this situation because I was so far up in my ego. I can't believe it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you come to this realization is you were really coming from ego so badly um, that it's not even funny. And so I feel like it could have come through another person. But I feel like this year you wake, you're waking up to how deeply you were entrenched in your ego and how you were coming from that and forgiving yourself. And I feel like it may have caused you to be angry at the other person or the situation that you were involved with for a time, for a while. But there's a there's a period here in this upcoming year that you're really going to be looking at it differently. It's going to be illuminated to you in another way. And you're going to say, wow, you know, that the universe, you know, set this up to allow me to see how deeply I was entrenched in my ego and how that whole situation, had I not been in that place for myself, um, you know, in that ego space for myself, this wouldn't have played out that way. I wouldn't have put myself in that position. That person could have never done that to me. You know what I mean? Um, and it was all because of your ego self. And um, so it's it's forgiving yourself and forgiving others. So that's what some, the, the good, the good part is, yeah, that thing may have happened. It may have been a tough lesson. It may have been difficult. It may have been painful at the time, but you're going to see the good part of it now. And when you see the good part of it now, it may magically transform, you know, don't negate the fact that it could magically transform. So if you've had a falling out with someone because of your ego and you're now realizing it, man, you know, what do I got poo on my face right now? When you realize it and you forgive from within yourself, you don't even really have to have a conversation with that person if you're feeling embarrassed or um, you feel like it, there's no chance for that. 
but just know that within yourself when you see things and you're feeling it and you forgive yourself for being in that space in that specific time because remember we're all learning and we're all growing and it was meant to happen for you to awaken right so when you bring the blessing upon it and you bless the other person for even partaking for signing up and agreeing to be that for you and to be there for you to do to go through this just know that it can transform so there is a transformation and that's what's good is coming. The good is coming out. I feel the bad situation that you have been involved in. And I love seeing that. And for some that, for those that are Leos and are looking at this as a year, I feel it's actually going to happen more between March and June of next year. Okay. There's going to be more of the transcending. I feel like you may have already realized it. Or you may realize that that couldn't have happened if you weren't in that ego space. And it's really not the other person's fault. Even though they may have done some things that aren't cool. And they may still be doing them. If you weren't in the space you were in, you wouldn't have been there. You, it wouldn't have happened. It couldn't have happened. Um, but I feel like the transcending part of this for both parties will happen. If you're a Leo, it's going to happen between May or March and June of 2020. Okay? So... No, something the fairies are helping you release. What energy or situation are they helping you purge? And it is Keeper of Secrets. Big one. Interesting. I just did the full moon reading for Capricorn. And uh, this energy kind of came up in that reading. So you may want to watch it as well. But um, Keeper of Secrets. So what is going to help you release is secrets. Use your discernment. Confide in trusted friend. Confide in a trusted friend. Keep silent about knowledge. I feel it's going to help you purge secretive energy uh, because it's what you're letting go of. No longer holding on to a secret. You're no longer keeping secrets or doing things that are secretive or dealing with people that are secretive or, um, you know, again, that could have been part of the lesson. Maybe you were dealing with somebody that wasn't being truthful or they were keeping secrets from you. Spirit is purging that in your life. You're no longer going to be connected to those types of people, those types of situations that put you in that position. Because secrets can kind of eat away at you. And so there's a need here to, to release that. So that's what they're helping you release in this time frame. Um, beautiful. So the fairy flowers, invitations, and good energies the fairies are bringing to us in love this year is Little Boy Blue. I need his number 26. Dreams come true, return of the soul. So like a rebirth, a renewal. Innocence. When we see a child, we see innocence, right? The number 26 could be important for you. Blue is all about communication. We see transformative energy of the butterflies. So beautiful energies. And, and it's saying a dream coming true. Okay, return to the soul. So new soul energy. So if it's a soul, if you feel like a soul connection, there could be new renewal within it. There could be new communication within it, new life breathed into it, which is interesting because you may want to watch my my Capricorn full moon because same type of feeling. In fact, I think I think it was even number 26 in the air. It was an air card at the end, breathing new life, breathing new air. And so it felt very familiar to this. So you may want to watch it. Um, but there is new energies, new communication little boy blue and when I see little boy blue in that way I also hear little boy blue little boy was blue so if you're connecting to someone who you've had a difficult relationship with their inner child may have been depressed their little child may have been blue and when that child is wounded in that emotional place and state all kinds of adult actions can come out in a, in a wonky way so I feel like there's going to be a healing of that inner child within that person. If that resonates for you, if you've been dealing with someone that has been difficult, or if you've had, and I don't want to say that person's been difficult, if you've had a difficult dynamic, maybe because your ego was um, you know, involved here, you've had a difficult dynamic. And so when you're in the right place and they've done some healing or something's come to light for them and they're in a different place, and you're in a different place, everything's different. Everything's new, right? So it's not to place blame. It's not to say it was all the other person's fault either because I feel like there's been a difficult lesson here and it's because of an ego space you're in that wouldn't allow for whatever this person was going through. And I'm just using this as an example. Wouldn't If you weren't in this egotistical place, and I want to say that with all love and light, um, if you weren't in that space, if your ego wasn't in that, you know, there was wounds within your ego that you were dealing with, if you weren't in that place, you would have been in more of your power, right? Knowing who you truly are in spirit, and you wouldn't have 
been able to have that in, interaction with this person in the state they were in with their inner child wounds, okay? So it's all to be brought to light in that way for you to see it. It's not like, oh, something terrible is going to come to light, but it's going to be an awakening within you and an awakening within them. For those that are resonating, because that's the energy that's coming up, this is number 36, which is nine. Nines are ends of cycles. This is 26, which is eight, which is infinity. So it's something that was destined, and it's been destined to heal and come back together if you're in a good way as well. But it's just taken time. It's taken some things to play out. There's been a need for realization. Okay. So that is the message that's coming um, for us. So we have number six we are number six here that was the energies in love so there's going to be a dream come true and a return of a soul energy a new soul feeling within this person so seven fairy wands a good unexpected surprise this year oh beautiful and it's acorns invitation a touch an exchange and a connection again we see a masculine energy so if you're feminine and you've been dealing with a difficult situation with relationships it could certainly be that person but this could be anything. This could be an invitation, um, a connection, you know, an invitation to connect with somebody that you want, you know, that could be a job that you want to have. It could be a, you know, an invitation to connect with anything that you really want to have in the physical aspect of your life, not just through your imagination. But this m mostly feels like a relationship aspect, but it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be. It's number 17. 17 is the star card, yes, in tarot. So, the star card is, again, a card of hopes, dreams, aspirations. Um, also, to me, a star is a truth revealed. So it can be a revealing of a truth. Again, back to that feeling that I had with the relationship aspect of this reading. But um, it's also, um, you know, a beautiful, again, more destined type of energy and direction as well coming up here. So this is the good surprise. Again, everyone is just going to be coming a little different because this is a general reading, but very beautiful. Um, so that is the good surprise. An invitation to connect or reconnect for some. Oh, there's the moth. The moth keeps coming up. And it was in my last reading, the Capricorn full moon, um, the moth. And I've been seeing moths. Like I said in that reading, I've been seeing moths. And there he is behind this person's back. I want to do a Google search of the moth. Um, and I'm, you know, moth to the flame, of course. but it's And it's also a lunar. But I want to look up more of the aspect of the um, message of moth spirit. You know, spirit animal or whatever. So I may look it up and put a link below if I find one for everyone to connect. But it was also in my full moon Capricorn reading as well. Anyway, that is a good surprise. A um, acorn's invitation and it is to touch, exchange, and connect a connection. And of course, acorns turn into beautiful, strong oak trees as well. So it's an invitation to expand into something that is sturdy too is what I'm getting. So number eight is this very sparkles over outcome and overall new energy coming in for the year. And we have stolen in our sleep. Um, I, I love this. I love this because it's something I'm really learning about. Unaware, unconscious, unawakened. So the overall outcome energy is to learn more about the subconscious and to see how it's affecting our lives, to see how that tape that's running in the background of our subconscious is really, um, you know, kind of, we're unaware of what's going on around the, the patterns that we've had and we've been conditioned under from the past. And we're unaware of that. We're unconscious to it. We're unawakened and aware. And I feel like the overall new energy is going to be an awakening to this. There's going to be more um, learning because this is what this is representing for me and so I feel like this is the message for everyone is learning about those energies of the subconscious and how we're unaware unaware of how those patternings and conditions that we've had from when we were younger are affecting us um, and how that tape in the background of our unconscious is you know really has an effect and a hold on, on us in an unaware and unawakened way so it's learning more about that so I love seeing that what can you give to the fairies in return this year to have them continue working with you? And we have Silver Sisters. So, wow, I love it. Number nine, take time to take time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energies. So, 
I feel anything with clearing up the environment, first and foremost, getting rid of toxins in your home, anything that, you know, cleaning supplies that aren't organic or, and that can be difficult and I'm not preaching, it's just the messages coming through. If you feel guided to do that, certainly do that. You know, buying your makeup that has, you know, um, doesn't have chemicals in it or hasn't been tested on animals, really clearing and cleansing your energy around you and your home and the things that you use, you know, your clothing, your makeup, your cleaning supplies, that type of thing. Also, I see here silver, you know, anything silver, sparkly or shiny, you may want to give as an offering or put around your, you know, if you have a little fairy altar or you have a space in your yard, adding something silver and shiny is going to be appreciated by the fairies as well. But most importantly is to get rid of those toxins time to take protection from toxic things. So they want to protect the environment from toxins. And so any help you can give, big or small, even picking up litter, of course, taking care of the waterways, any of these things, anything you can do, it really adds up, they're saying, and is so, so appreciated. And anything beautiful would be adding something silver and sparkly is appreciated as well. So I hope everyone has enjoyed the reading. Happy birthday, Leos beautiful year ahead a lot um a lot of awareness a lot of learning and a lot of expansion coming a lot of travel it looks like and um yeah so angel blessings to everyone and oceans of love happy birthday